biggest adjustment coming in is probably coming straight from uh, from college season straight into the long season of the MLS. So obviously you have to adjust and you got to take care of your body. And I mean, I I really when I first came in, I didn't really know what to expect. I knew it was going to be a quicker game, more physical game. But really, our teammates have they made it really easy to come in and adjust and make make me feel welcome. So that was a big help with me. Definitely for me, it's just kind of been. Um Situation. Where I've just kind of been, um, you know, watching the guys ahead of me and learning from, from, you know, different guys in my position and, and different guys in the back line, and, and really just kind of understanding, you know, how the team plays and, and really, like I said, taking it as a, kind of a learning experience. Um, and so the past four months have been just an adjustment, um, and just kind of uh, for me, just finding a, finding a good rhythm for myself and uh, just learning, you know, what to do on, on, on a daily um, and just things things of that nature. You know. I mean, it's definitely it's definitely been good knowing that there's somebody else there that's going through the same things you are. I mean, it would have been pretty hard. I think it would have been pretty hard to come in and not have somebody that's going through the same same ordeal as you are. And you know that. I mean, if you have any questions, he's he's probably got the same questions. I mean, just little thing like we still each have to finish school up, and we're gonna go over to University of Houston and go together and see if what they can do for us with our transcript. So I mean. It's really nice knowing that, I mean, you're not the only one going through it. I mean, it's like, it, it's real chill. I mean, uh, I started to know well, he played with my brother, Indiana Foy. Um, and so that's when I kind of started to know him. And, you know, we, Indiana and Akron always play together. And so I think as we played each other in those matches, we kind of, we started to recognize each other and, and then we knew who each other were. And, and then, you know, once we got drafted to the same team, it was kind of like, hey, man, you know, we've been playing with each other for three years and, and you know, playing against each other. And so now we're on the same team. It's, it's cool. Like, it's cool to come back and, like you said, just, Sit back and talk about the, you know, talk about practice or talk about, you know, moving forward and different things that, that we got to do. And especially when you have someone that's similar in age, it's it's like, you know, it's like like your freshman year coming to college. You know, if you're if you're the only one that's coming in in your class, you know, it's it's kind of it's kind of tough. And you know, just kind of three we will say, just little things. You know, just understanding, seeing, and recognizing when to maybe maybe, maybe take a couple steps forward um, and pressure the guy. You know, maybe uh, instead of chasing him, if you give him a nudge early, you now you save yourself a couple steps. Just little things like that. Um, a lot of the guys have been helping me with, especially during preseason and uh, you know a little bit here and there as well. I'm moving forward. Over. And it's Houston right back on the ball with Cameron uh, sliding it through. Into the box it goes. I got three great balls that game. Jeff played me a great ball and I just had to finish it. And then Brad played two great services in where I just had to get my head on it. So um, I mean I was in the right spot, got great services, and I mean I was able to finish my chances. Some games you don't finish your chances at all. In some games, you finish every chance you get. So that was one of the games where I finished my chances, and um, I mean, I'm still trying to build on it and get some more goals going. They called me Dancing Bear, because one day we were doing finishing, and Dom chips balls up, and you gotta chest it down and shoot it one time, and uh, he chipped one into me, and I went to chest strap it, and he said, my arms were flailing out to the side. He goes, you look like a dancing bear. So everybody thought that was pretty funny, and they've been calling me that ever since. Before the game, I was talking to Brian Chang and he was like, if you score, you gotta do the dancing bear and I'll do it with you. So um, luckily I got that, that first one early and I didn't know what the dancing bear was or what it consisted of. <laughs> he just said, you have to do the dancing bear.